Hello, Rosa Realtors. Wanted to create a video today to kind of follow up on an email that was sent out not too long ago, uh, discussing some of the recent upgrades with our market leader system. Uh, we're very excited to actually unveil some of these uh, new upgrades today uh, in this video. But as well, we also kind of want to give those that have not yet seen the actual market leader system uh, a quick little demo of how the front end agent websites truly work and as well the actual back end system. Um, as you can see here, we're actually uh, at a agent uh, website. So you see here, uh, Robert Armstrong, Bob Armstrong from our celebration office here. This is his actual agent website. So uh, it'll give you a, a nice clean look and feel uh, with your information right here in the middle of the actual website. Uh, prospects when they're on can obviously go ahead and try to contact you directly here. Uh, any of your featured listings, which basically means any of your own listings, uh, if you enter in your actual MLS ID number on the back end of the system, it will automatically populate your listings first here under Featured Listings. After that, it will then rotate into any of our Rosa Realty listings and then go throughout the IDX. Below that, we have another box here, another area on the site where you can basically enter in any of your social media sites with your icons, add any links that you would like to any outside sites. Uh, for example, here we have Bob Armstrong's blog. And then down below that, we have a little short bio uh, on Bob with a video that he's embedded uh, himself directly here as well. You could embed pretty much multiple videos if you like, multiple photos, add as many links as you would like, and of course your uh, bio can be as long as you would like to as well. You can also have the opportunity to kind of play around with the size of the font, color of the font, uh, and so on. So the beauty of, the, of this agent website is that this is your agent website. So whatever happens here, goes directly to you. So if a buyer signs up, looks at properties, it's a prospect that will be automatically sent to you and no one else. No one will uh, be able to get uh, this information. It will be only shared with you directly. Um, you can see here we have multiple pages up top. Uh, the main pages are gonna be your buy page. So a prospect can kind of come on uh, and go ahead and actually do a, a more detailed search if they would like uh, of an actual community or property. They can go into the sell page and uh, get some information about what their home is actually worth, what it can actually sell for uh, in today's current market. And we have a finance page, which will be tied into our in-house lender, Columbus Capital. Any of the pre-quals will go directly into Columbus Capital and you will be copied and notified immediately once that does happen. Over here, we have our Market Insider, which will be a page where folks can go ahead and get signed up if they wanna get more information emailed out to them on a certain zip code or community, where they'll get the average median listing price average days on market, uh, how many active listings that there are uh, in that community, and as well, how many distressed listings uh, that they will actually populate uh, in that area. Over here, we, next to that, we have our about page, will be about you, about your information here. Again, any videos uh, that you wanna embed, uh, photos, links, and so on, you have the ability to go ahead and be creative here and add as much information as you possibly would like. Our final page will be about partners, and on our partners page will be all of our in-house uh, vendors that we do work very closely with. So again, we have our partners, about page, market insider, our finance page, then our sell, and of course, then our final page will be our buy page. I definitely recommend uh, check it out. Down below, we have a list of different community served. One of the really neat things here as well is you can create multiple websites or multiple home pages of your website. So for example, if Bob was gonna focus in on in the Claremont market, I can click on Claremont right here. And basically this is not a very attractive domain up top, but I can basically go ahead and go through GoDaddy or any other uh, type uh, engine and buy a domain and forward it to this address up here where I can say bobsellsclaremont.com and this would actually be the homepage of that domain. It's still gonna take folks to his agent website but it will give it basically a different doorway uh, into the actual site. So that way you can kind of create multiple niches. It doesn't have to just be Claremont. It could be Deltona, Fort Lauderdale, um, Mount Dora, Orlando, Pompano Beach, St. Pete. Um, as you can see here, we have a pretty long list of community serves. You can select any one of these actual locations. If you have one that's not on here, just let us know and we can definitely see if we can add that there for you. So I'm gonna go back to Bob's homepage. Uh, again, the domain for his actual true homepage will be rarmstrong.larosarealty.com. Now again, not a very attractive domain, but like I said before, you can very easily go into GoDaddy for 10 bucks, buy bobsellsorlando.com, 
and forward it to this address right here. Now, this is the front end agent website. Now, this total package that I'm gonna show you today through Market Leader, it's basically 25 bucks a month. It's literally next to nothing. It's less than a dollar per day that you have to basically spend to be able to have this kind of technology on the front end, and now I'm gonna show you on the back end too as well. Um, to log in, we go down to the very bottom here where it says admin login, and you basically will go in and enter in your username, which would be your email and a password. So I'm gonna log into an agent account that I already have set up here. So you can kind of see once you are logged in, this will basically take you to this back end uh, CRM system right here. Now this is gonna be your dashboard, so this will be the home page. Any of your new leads that come in will automatically populate here in this first box. So as you can see here, we have a Martin Filbert that came in. Now one of the new features, new upgrades that just came out, you'll see if they sign up, if a prospect signs up on your site, whether um, they're viewing property or they automatically go to register, they can either sign in through Facebook or just sign up regularly. Now, if they sign up regularly, you get this little G symbol here, which would be for Google. And that way I can actually click on this link and this will actually take me into Google and allow me to kind of Google who this person is. So I can see kind of who Martin Filbert may be, get a little bit of an idea of really what his uh, area is that he's uh, potentially looking at or where he's from, kind of get an idea again, kind of who is this actual prospect that I'm gonna be working with. So I'll go back in here to the actual dashboard. Now if they do sign up through Facebook, you'll see an actual uh, little icon with F uh, standing for Facebook. And literally you can click on that and it will take you directly into Facebook and that way you can actually kind of see, again, more about who this actual prospect is to kind of verify that they are indeed an actual real person. If we see a phone, we know that we have an actual phone number. Um, so it's always great to see. If we see a dollar symbol, it means that they've actually requested to get pre-approved through our in-house lender on the site. And again, another good sign that they are an actual solid lead. And if we see a house, that means that they've actually set up for a listing alert, meaning that they'll get multiple emails whenever new properties come available in an area that they've selected with a criteria that they've selected as well. The system will also let me see that, for example, if they're looking to buy in Kissimmee, the average home sale price is about $180,000. They've looked at 18 properties and they saved three. Good thing about this system is that it allows buyers to take their time. So in this case here, you see this lead here has been on for about almost three years, which is quite a long time, but you'll find a lot of internet lead, a lot of internet buyers will take their time, especially if you're gonna develop them yourself and through your own marketing or through Craigslist and so on. Now, as you see here, over here to my right, this is the last time they were on the site. So again, they were on the site just a, uh, another day ago, a couple days ago on 422. And again, they're in the new uh, status. Now, how this system works basically, now I kind of modified and kind of brought this prospect over into new. If not, you would see created probably, probably in the last couple days. What is a new feature now through Market Leader is through the ICW email enhancement. Basically after 12 hours of this prospect being here uh, in the new folder, they will get an actual email, basically trying to get uh, them to uh, contact you, kind of find out more information about what they're looking for, uh, and so on. So not only will the moment that they actually sign up on your website, they'll get an automatic email in a matter of seconds. You will then get a text message letting you know that uh, Martin Filbert has just signed up on your site and telling you to give them a call. There's a phone number there. But then if 12 hours pass and they are not moved from new to any other status, then they will get a follow-up email to as well. So you definitely wanna kinda of stay on top of your leads here and move them over into any one of your other categories. Now that I moved them into the warm category, now he's there in the warm. Now to go ahead and set up your admin, um, it would be under the admin folder. I'm not gonna to spend too much time in this video showing you that now, but I definitely wanna definitely recommend that if you do get this, this, this actual account set up, you definitely wanna go into admin make sure you add your MLS ID number plus your phone number. That way you can get an automatic text message whenever a lead comes in for the very first time as well whenever they email you too. Now, you will have your email in your inbox tied into here as well. So you will get a LaRosaRealty.com email address. All your emails will show up here. Now I'm not gonna go through all of Victor's email as you can see here, but you do wanna definitely go through them, read them, and then they will automatically then populate and move over to your inbox. Down below that, we have any reminders that are set up either by you or the system. So we see here that Millie Ramos set up a listing alert. We all see that she actually saved the listing with an MLS number here as well. It's gonna recommend that you give them a call or email them about viewing this listing. So we see here, 
on 425, this definitely is when you want to get this done. So by tomorrow, you definitely want to make sure that you follow up with Millie. Again, to get into her account, all I have to do is click on her information right here or her name, and it will link me directly into her account so I can see exactly what is she looking at. Over here, I see, listen, great uh, way to kind of stay on top of your leads. Here I can see here that at 9 a.m., Jamil was online. Uh, yesterday, Millie was online, Stephanie, Ruben, and Martin Filbert as well. So it's a great way to kind of see some of the last few leads that were on. And another way to do that is to go through into your contacts. And if I click on contacts here, I can go on to recently active. And what I want to do is if I want to do more search options, I can do last activity. And let's say, let's go over since the 21st uh, till today. And we want everything but sold because obviously they've already sold the property. And we will hit search. And now I can see here, here are some leads that have actually been on the site and again in the last few days. So I can click on any one of these names right here and they'll take me directly in to that actual client account. So I got Martin's information here. Last time they were on the site, phone number, email address. I can add any comments that I would like. Any additional information I want to add, any additional addresses, I can save here. Any of their actual buyer requests that they may have. For example, looking for four bedrooms, three bath within this price point, I can go ahead and take some notes here and save it here as well. Below that, we'll have Market Insider. So again, if they, we can see here that they've visited uh, on your website uh, the 33187 five times. So we know definitely uh, that they are interested in that area. They even have subscribed <clears throat> to be able to get emails whenever again there are updates in that market. Below that, we'll have any emails that are gonna be sent to and from you uh, and the actual prospect. So it's a great way to kind of go back and take a look at any of the actual correspondence that was going on. And then any reminders set up either by yourself to add a new reminder or by the system. So like we saw on the first page with Millie Ramos, we can see that the system said, hey, give them a call or give her a call that she did save an actual listing. Now my favorite page is gonna be right up top. I click on the actual listing page. I can see exactly what listing alerts that they have. So I see here a zip code and a city. And I can see here that uh, looking for either single family, townhome, multifamily, four bedroom and up. And I got a price point here from 150 to 850, which may be a little bit too high. But again, of course, we have the ability to create this range here. If they have user error on their part and they put it too high of a number, you can always go ahead and reach out to them, contact them, find out exactly what they're looking for and make sure that you do edit uh, it, that for them. Below that, uh, I can see any of the emailed uh, properties that were sent out. You see here, uh, all of these different listings that were emailed out to them on one date and time. And let me minimize that. Here are all the saved listings that they've actually saved. Uh, so we have three properties that they have actually saved, four bedroom, three bath. If it is gray, that means the property is now off the market. And we can see the last time they actually viewed the property. Now if I go here into view listings, I can actually click on last viewed and I will actually uh, be able to see all the different properties that they've seen uh, recently. So I see here on 43, 41, uh, 330, uh, and so on. And click on the actual picture or the MLS ID number and actually get some information about the property that they actually took a look at. Now, I always teach agents, listen, if you're gonna call an actual prospect, look at how many times they viewed certain properties. So for example, if I was gonna call them today, and let's just say today was back in 3.30, and I see that they viewed this one property twice over every other property. I wanna click on this property, get some information, so when I do call them, I can ask them some, some specific questions about this one property, find out what kind of got their uh, attention. So I'm gonna go back up top. We see here that the status for Martin is in warm. Uh, any reminders, right now we have zero. I can send a direct email to him at any time I like. Um, basically, I can even set up a quick text and some emails that I may have already saved. The system will save a few emails for you, uh, but it's a great way to kind of communicate directly with them, save some time if you do have some scripts already created. Last thing I'll show you here under Send Listings uh, is a great feature that we have here. Um, I'm gonna scroll down here so you can see it a little bit better. So we can see the last time he came on, he actually was looking in Kissimmee now. So within price point of 170 to 190, a four two. So what the system will do, it will actually pull up properties that were uh, in the same subdivision or same community that he was looking at within the same criteria, but yet did not see. 
So all you have to do is review these properties down below, click on them to add them up top, and I can hit send selected listings, and literally in a matter of seconds, I can have an email go out to them, basically uh, saying, look, I've took some time and I found you a few more homes for sale uh, in your area. So it's a great way to show that you're on top of your game and that you're trying to show them as many properties as possible that fall within their criteria. So going into the admin, a new feature that was added, if I go back in here on their email, you'll see here we have the initial contact wizard. So as I was saying before, uh, if a new lead is gonna be in your new folder for more than the first 12 hours, after that 12th hour, they will get this email right here. So now you have the ability to literally edit this email and go ahead and add whatever information that you would like and then you can save it and even then now have that as your default greeting or your default email. Uh, as well, um, you can set up again, as I mentioned before with the emails, uh, now you can save and create as many emails as you would like. So I can see here are some of the ones that were already created and I can create any new ones from right here. Now, this last feature I'm gonna show you, I'm actually gonna log into my account here at the corporate account so you, you can see it, um, is the marketing aspect. Now, with the marketing aspect, the marketing system, I would say, um, if I was gonna be uh, looking to buy or pay some kind of a monthly fee for this, this type of program, I'd pay 100 bucks a month just for this service right here. So to be able to get this as part of your overall market leader package uh, for 25 bucks, the value is just incredible. Um, I can click on here under email marketing, and I can even go ahead and take a look at some of the actual emails that will already be created. So I can look at, for example, a great first impression, a condo or single family, uh, home buyer's wish list, um, so on and so on. If I click on any one of these emails, let's say our 10 resolutions for business, I click on this link here, and I can see here, it will then automatically store my information here. I click on personalize, and you'll see down, down below, here's my information. I can modify my image and logo if I like. I can even modify these text boxes. If I don't like what's said here, I can eliminate this. I can change the font, change the size. I can embed images and even add some more text boxes within this actual uh, email itself. Now I can save it. I'm not gonna do that right now, but if I did save it, I'll show you that will actually then uh, be stored uh, in your uh, saved emails. So let's go ahead and go back to search here so that you can see it would be under your My Saved Designs. So not only do you get different templates for emails, um, you can even get to flyers, greeting cards, uh, and so on. So a great way to print out if you're gonna be doing an open house. Um, great marketing piece. Again, if you wanna go ahead and pass some of these out, do some door knocking. Uh, again, the beauty of this, you can go ahead and edit and modify this as you like. You could enter your MLS number and your information will automatically populate here on this flyer. So it's gonna be very easy, save you some time, uh, and so on. And again, with a personalized uh, button here, you can go ahead and modify any of the images, information, uh, and so on that you would like as well. So I'll go back in the search to show you one last aspect of it. If I go down below as well, you also have greetings, guides, and postcards. One of the things that I love here is on our guides, you'll see here that we have a guide to buying a home, uh, we have a guide to selling a home. Um, some great literature here that you can go ahead and kind of pick and choose from. We have different covers, so if you want, want to go ahead and modify the cover or choose a different design, you can do so here as well. Um, but for example, if I was to hit guide to selling a home, okay, I have the ability to go ahead and take a look at it. It's going to be eight and a half by 11, standard size. And if I click on personalize, I will now have the ability to go ahead and edit and modify uh, this actual uh, guide. Uh, I can go ahead and embed more pictures, change some of the actual verbiage, um, add my information, my logo, uh, to wherever I would like in my information. Now it's taking a little bit of time to populate because this is probably about, I would say maybe about a 15, 20 page uh, guide. So if we look down here, actually it is 20 pages right here. So I can see page one. So page one looks pretty good. If I wanna add a text box in here or add an image over, uh, for example, like my logo, uh, or maybe even your photo here as well. You have the ability to do that. If I wanna do a text box, I can pretty much drag and select where I want the text box to go. I can say, for example, um, brought to you by Joe LaRosa, sponsored by Joe LaRosa, whatever else I can say. Um, we'll just say created by Joe LaRosa. If I wanna go ahead and change 
the actual font size. I can go ahead and do that here. Make the box a little bit bigger to fit. I'm gonna go ahead and bold it, and I can change even the text color if I like to here as well. So you have some options here. I can embed photos if I like to as well, images. And if I go into each page, I can do the same thing per page. So it's a great way, again, for your marketing, for your listing presentation, to be able to have something like this available for you. Uh, and as well that you can market this on your listing presentation and this is what you'll present this is what you actually provide for potential buyers whenever they do actually visit the actual home so taking some time to populate only because we got so many pages here but we're going to kind of move on oh, there it is comes up right now so again you can modify pretty much everything here add your logo add some pictures uh, but you do have the beauty of having some uh, creativity with this actual guide if you don't even want to touch it it's already going to be good enough uh, as it is so those are the three major things we wanted to show you the actual social media login now that you can actually verify through Facebook and Google um, the ICW now after 12 hours a new email will go out that you can modify and create plus as well this marketing center um, again I want to reiterate if uh, if I was to have this system here uh, just for the marketing piece I can see the value of paying hundred dollars per month just for this but with this entire package through the Rosa Realty it's $25 a month to be able to have the front end agent website that I showed you before, uh, as well as being able to have uh, the back end CRM system here as well. So hopefully you found this video to be somewhat informative. We are gonna do a market leader class here very soon. Uh, probably gonna get it on the calendar for the next week to uh, 10 days. Uh, take a look out for when we do add it. And if you have any interest, please reach out to uh, myself or Ryan and uh, Ryan at LittleSrealtyCorp.com or myself, Joe at LittleSrealtyCorp.com. We'd be more than happy to get you all set up for uh, Market Leader. Thanks and take care.